Hello, I'm Eric Soto, and this is a quick demonstration of TweetDeck for handling multiple accounts and also for easy retweet. So, first of all, I've already I have TweetDeck running, and I've set myself up with three accounts. I have a Twitter account, Eric was taken. That's my primary account. I have an account called iHealthSpot that I manage, and I have another account called South Palm Orthopedics that I manage. Notice that I have three columns in my interface, and so therefore uh, each of those columns represents the Twitter feed uh, for each of those accounts. Now, the first thing I want to show is how easy it is to tweet as any of those accounts, and it's very simple to just click on the Compose and Update. That shows the panel where you can enter your tweet, and other than that, all you need to do is select on either uh, my Eric account or my South Palm account or my iHealthSpot account. Um, I guess I have a few others actually that I didn't show you, but nonetheless, you just click on whichever account. Another thing that's good about TweetDeck is that you can also update Facebook, and so uh, you can actually just click on the uh, Facebook account and then of course uncheck your Twitter account and you would post only to Facebook. But what you might have noticed is that you can actually post on more than one, and that's indeed uh, by design and really cool feature also. So you select all the accounts you want to tweet from, and you enter your tweet, and you click on post. Okay? TweetDeck also has very cool uh, ability to manage links, and when you insert hyperlinks, they automatically get shortened uh, using Bitly and using a few other services, and it can all be configured. But that's that as far as sending tweets. It's very, very simple. Now, for retweets, it's also very simple. Uh, you simply just find a tweet you're interested in, and once you find that tweet, for example, here's an interesting tweet, top selling book in the US each year is public domain. So when you move the mouse over to the picture of the uh, Twitter user, you'll notice you have a couple of things. You can reply to that Twitter user, you can direct message that Twitter user, you can uh, retweet the Twitter user, which is what we're interested in, but also you have this little menu that has other actions. There's all kinds of things. You can learn more about the user, you can follow on follow search, do all kinds of things. You can also even email this tweet, which is kind of cool if you have someone that doesn't participate in Twitter, you still want them to see the tweet, you can always email them the tweet. But let's go back because the focus of uh, this video is retweets also, so I'm going to go ahead and click on retweet. You'll notice that the tweet is automatically placed on the uh, Twitter uh, bar up here. Uh, it's the retweet symbol is in, the at ace attack to the user and in exactly what they said. Uh, I could then select which account I want to retweet this from and again I can just leave the one account or I can select a few more accounts. So I'm gonna in this case go ahead and select two. Um, one thing to be cautious about is that sometimes when you add the retweet and the user you do exceed the character limit so just make sure that uh, you still have characters left for your tweet but as long as you have characters left I'm going to go ahead and just click on uh, uh, the retweet icon or the send and you'll see that it already posted right here it appears in my iHealthSpot feed and um, it should also be at the top of my Eric was taken feed and there it is. So that's how easy it is to use TweetDeck to both uh, read the tweets of multiple accounts, uh, post tweets from one or more accounts, and also to retweet. So I hope this was helpful. Bye.